right everyone this is gonna be my 2023 renegade 110 xxc review video a little chilly out today so i got on the sweater and the hat here she is i will say she is an absolutely fantastic looking four-wheeler i love the color scheme i love the little uh coil over shocks they give you with a nice little fake carbon fiber wrap on it gives a lot of the same lines as my actual renegade talk about a few things i like about it first and then we'll talk about a few things that i really don't like about it already found some major flaws with this product um things i like aesthetics look styling looks fantastic fuel injected it's a fuel injected kid four wheeler so i mean you turn on the key you hear that fuel pump going gotta have the brake on fires right off i love the little exhaust note this thing has it's got a nice deep tone to it. It don't sound whiny or like a weed whacker or anything like that. The suspension is very soft and very plush. I'll say it's almost too plush. Uh, as soon as you sit down on the back here, at least with my 200 pound butt on it, we are straight bomb down the suspension already. Now, when my daughter's riding it, she doesn't really have that much of an issue, but being that it is a 110 and these things have quite a bit of power, most of the time I'm riding on it with her just because she's younger. And I think I'm gonna have to turn up that shock in the back just to you know, keep it from bottoming out all the time. Things I really don't like about it, these headlights, although they look cool, they're just tiny marker light bulbs that they put in there. So the headlights are absolutely useless at night. I mean, there is little to no light that you get from them i'm definitely gonna have to upgrade those if i ever want to ride with her at night at all another major flaw i see that's not going to be an issue right now that's probably gonna be an issue in years to come if you look at these connectors i don't know if you can see that white connector in there there is no kind of weather seal at all now i'm a mechanic and i do a lot of electrical work when you have an open connection like that where you can get water and dirt and debris into the back of it. I just know for a fact that years down the road, you're gonna have issues with corrosion, you're gonna have issues with just random electrical issues. No one likes having random electrical issues. You know, most four-wheelers, even Can-Am's other four-wheelers, like looking at my Renegade here, see if we can find an easy to get to connector. There you go. See how that connection's sealed on the back side? so that no moisture or water or dirt or debris can get into it. Don't know why they chose not to do that with this one. Actually, I'm pretty sure I do know why. Is because I don't think this four-wheeler is made by Can-Am at all, besides the plastics. Um, I think this is just the same cheap Chinese brand that um, every little kid four-wheeler uses. I think it's the same engine and transmission that you'll find in the Polaris Outlaw 110. EFI it looks very very similar. I would be very surprised if it was anything different. Another thing that I really really don't like is drum brakes. It has front and rear drum brake. Me and my daughter have only rode this thing maybe an hour or two and you can see that the rear is already completely out of adjustment. Wore that quickly. The front is already almost halfway out of adjustment. Yeah it's more than halfway out of adjustment. So you're constantly going to have to adjust them and they just don't break that well. You know, we, this is 2022, almost 2023. Machine should have disc brakes. I mean, I have a Pullman kid four wheeler over here that I picked up for 1500 bucks and it's got front and rear disc brakes on it and it stops on a dime, which when we're talking about kids and kid four wheelers, brakes are important to me. And another benefit to the hydraulic brakes over these cable driven brakes is that hydraulic brakes you don't put as much effort into it to make it slow down so you don't have to squeeze it as hard my daughter's a little young to be on this four-wheeler and her hands don't quite have enough grip strength to be able to stop this four-wheeler very well a little disappointed in the brakes you know, especially for a can-am and for an xxc and for what you're paying for these machines i mean this machine was over five thousand dollars out the door for me you know with all the freight surcharges and whatever and i can get a less than two thousand dollar machine with a larger motor that has four wheel disc brakes versus a five thousand dollar name brand machine that you know still has drum brakes and that's just disappointing to me well i guess may as well take you guys for a ride around on it so you can see what she rides like now that i've talked a lot of bad about it 
Got a little check engine light up here. Got a neutral light. You got a light that shows when you're in reverse. And you got a low fuel light. Brakes. And yeah, now it doesn't want to start. There she goes. Don't know why it's doing that. Brand new machine. Brand new disappointment. Oh yeah, I'll take it for a wrap around. It does soak up the little bumps in the yard pretty well. Right there, I barely felt that one at all. And I will say that I'm 200 pounds and it has plenty of power with that belt system. as I can squeeze on the front brakes right there to get this to slow down. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm trying to do a quick hand switch here in a second. I'll show you guys how fast it is. Full brakes. Yeah. Uh, the brakes definitely leave a whole lot to be desired for. Overall on the machine, I don't know that it's worth what you got to pay for it. Unless you just really want to have a four-wheeler that matches with your four-wheeler, which is the only reason I got this. <laughs> you know, I, you can't put a price on, you know, having a four-wheeler that's just like yours. And I got my daughter telling everyone, hey, look, I got a four-wheeler just like daddy's, just like daddy's. So really that's, if nothing else, that's where you get your value in this is just in the appearance of it and the fact that it's a Can-Am and it's a Renegade. But as far as drivability and um, what's your value for your money, which is pretty important to a lot of people, I'd say you can definitely do a lot better with a different four-wheeler. You kind of let me down on this one, Can-Am. Nonetheless, me and my daughter are going to have a ton of fun on it. Got her a helmet. We're going to get out on the trails. And, you know, I'm going to have some cool little videos. Daddy-daughter riding on this thing. I'll even throw in a couple clips here at the end from when we're blasting around the yard earlier with our helmets on. Y'all take care. In the camera. Look at my camera. You see you? Yeah. Are we gonna be YouTubers? Give me fives. <laughs> 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 you didn't even know about the brakes. Yeah. Did you I... splash daddy with the mud? Yeah. That's okay. Calls it mud. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> Gas a little bit around the corners. Whoa! I like you all by your dad. Yeah, you did. All right. You're doing it! Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool.